Alright guys, it's finally time to go hunt down Earhart. What's going on everybody? Benedo Skyer here. Today, I'm bringing you another episode of Octopath Traveler. In the last episode, we got ourselves a head start on Ulbricks Chapter 3, and now we've made it to the Lizardman's Den to finally go and track down Earhart. Our equipment should all be good, and we should all be topped up on HP, so I think we are good to go and head deeper into this cave and see where Earhart could be located. I see a chest up here, so I'm going to make an effort to get it. Alright, 2,000 leaves. Definitely take those, always nice. Look to be a bunch of ruins here. How do we get that chest that's over there? I guess I'll find out sooner or later. Let us fight with honor. Have at you. Looks like we've got some new enemies here. We've got Sand Lizard Man 3s and Sand Lizard King 2s, although I'm pretty sure we faced off against one of those in the last episode. I could be wrong, though. Let's try swords. I will cut you down. Nobody so far has been weak to swords in Ulbricks Chapter 3, oh, which is strange, because, well, Usually, there'd be sword weaknesses somewhere. They should all be weak to spears, then. Yep, the Sand Lizardman 3s are indeed weak to spears. Here we go. And the Lizard King should also be weak to spears. Alright. Unfortunately, though, I think that's all the weaknesses we're going to be uncovering for now. Let's get Lind out here for some extra spear oh, damage. Let's use Thousand Spears with Alphen. It's the closest thing we have to an AoE spear attack, unfortunately. We'll just have to make do, I'm afraid. Alright, we've broken one of them. Let's defend with Therion. Let's see if Lind will break that last sand lizardman. Nah, I guess not. But for now, we can always end the battle early with a nice, good old-fashioned Ebers Reckoning. Time to steal the show. Nice. Victory shall be mine. The battle should almost be done by now. And thankfully, Alfin's inspiration will help him get more SP without us needing to expend items. Alright, Ulbrich is now level 37, with Therion and Alfin following uh, decently close behind, I would say. Ooh, looks like there's one of Therion's chests around the bend there. I think. Is it? How do we get there? There are a lot of places that I need to figure out how to get. Yeah, because there is a ton of stuff here. We might be exploring here for a decent while. Quick. <sighs> Looks like we've got another new enemy. These are Sand Lizard King 1s, although once again I'm pretty sure we faced off against them in the last episode. Oh, no matter. Bring it on. Let's use another thousand spears here. A thousand spears. We've broken one of them. We've broken another one. Alright, two of them are broken already. Alfin should really take the time to heal the party in a couple of turns. Because otherwise, we might find ourselves running low on HP. I actually want to see how much these guys all collect for. Let's get a Soothing Dust with Essence of Great. Top ourselves up a little bit. Out of my way. Alright, let's see. Can Theron collect from anybody right now? What would have we boost him? Uh, those are still kind of sucky odds. I guess we could try this 25% chance. Well, we did take that risk. Nice dodge from Therion, though. Let's try an Aero Storm here. Wow, that was a lot of successful hits. Aero Storm usually never hits that well. Wow, that was actually a ton of damage, and looks like these guys have quite a high critical hit rate, too. Alright, let's try the 79% chance. 1400! Alright! Right. Yep, Alvin took the words right out of my mouth. Alright, let's get the Sand Lizardman out of here. What next? 
Alright, let's get Lind out here for some more spear damage. Luckily for us, it broke the next Sand Lizardman. For now, it looks like we've got to focus on the Lizard King. It looks like he's got a ton of health. Another 1,400 leaves for us. Let's see, can we use... You know, I think I'll just use regular sword attacks. There we go. Alright, let's get Lind out here once more. Let's use Thousand Spears. That should break him no problem. Can we steal from this guy? 74% chance, and if we boost it, we can get 100% chance. A Healing Grape M. Alright. And let's collect now. These guys collect for 1,600 of these. That's incredible. Let's use a Cross Strike to finish this off quickly. There we go. And we get a ton of cash and XP. Alright, let's collect this chest here. Is there anything under here? No, this just looks like it leads back out the way we came. Is there something along this path? No, there's nothing here. Want a tangle, huh? This might actually be a great grinding spot in case we ever need some XP, because these enemies are giving quite a bit of XP for where we are in the story. How do we get around that? There has to be some way we can get there. Looks like for now we have no choice but to keep moving forward. Let's see what you got. I have no idea what's going on, but it looks like Hanat's taking quite a bit of damage in these fights. Defense doesn't seem to be all that bad. How's it looking like compared to the rest of the party? Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, Hanat does have pretty shoddy defense here. Uh, we could switch out her elemental robe with this primeval robe. It'll boost her elemental and physical defense. We can also swap it out for the falcon garb. Which will improve her physical defense and evasion. Otherwise, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting much out of this. So I guess we'll use the primeval robe and... You know what? That fur cap looks actually pretty good. So, yeah, I guess we'll just use that, I suppose. Hanit's elemental defense is very skewed, but I don't think we have any control over that. Baron's evasion... Ideally would be somewhere in the 400s by now, but doesn't look like we have any daggers that increase evasion. The only thing we have is this falcon garb. Which is the closest thing we've got to something that can increase evasion. So I guess Therion is stuck with that for now. Do we have anything more enlightening than the enlightening bracelet? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so hopefully our party should be much more well defended. Alright, let's take the staircase and see what's in this chest here. 800 leaves. Alright, I'll take that. Could always use some more cash. What's back here? Doesn't look to be much of anything, but we'll press forward regardless. I'll make this quick. All right, Therion's now level 37, and our party is actually pretty beat up from all this walking. Four thousand leaves. All right, that's pretty good. Now we got to head back up and figure out how to get the rest of these chests around here. We might be here for a while, guys. Standest thou against me? Ooh, looks like we got new Sand Lizardman. Sand Lizardman 2s. Are they weak to spears? I thought as much. The dear lord, they hit hard. Wow, okay. They're doing like 500 damage a hit. That's concerning, to say the least. And Ulfric is missing everybody. That's not good. Let's see if Alvin can help clean up a little bit. All right, we've broken an extra sand lizardman. Letting the hunt beginning. 
Hanuk can't do much of anything except go for Lind here. Alright, one less shield. Baron can break the last sand lizard man. Then Hanuk can use Lind again. Alright, let's see if Alfin can't use a level slash here. And we are running out of SP. Severely. And also HP. Use the this. entire party needs to be healed, pretty much. Let my arrow fly in true. Let's see if we can't use Lind again. <laughs> nice, dodged by Alfin there. Although that's due to the blindness that we gave the Sand Lizard King over there. How much do these Lizardmen collect for? 1440, that is slightly more than the Sand Lizardman ones from earlier. Let's concoct something. Let's get a Soothing Dust with Essence of Plum here for an SP boost. Try this. That'll give 30 SP to the entire party. Letting my arrow fly in true. Alright, what can we do now? Because these Lizardmen are st stressing me out. Let's see if we can get Lind out here to break them. Or at least to help us do so. Alright, Alfin's gonna use a thousand spears again. Alright, we've broken the Sand Lizard King in the front. There, I can help break the Sand Lizard Men in the back. And it looks like we're just gonna have to wait for Theron to collect again. Here goes nothing. It's just passing the time. Out of my way. All right, let's see. Let's collect from the Lizard King one there. Easy, sixteen hundred leaves. Let's get that Lizard King out of the way. Second serving kicking in. That'll make Therion's collecting Here's job nothing. all the easier. <laughs> wow, we were very close to accidentally killing that thing. Alright, that should be the end of the fight. There we go. I honor thee, my Alfin is now level 37. Alright, before we go start another fight, let's go heal everybody and also give everybody SP. Thankfully, I have a ton of Inspiriting Plums, so I'm not too worried about using them. A copper-filled pouch, we can go sell that somewhere. Now, how do we get around here? I'm having a hard time trying to see everything. I've got better things to do. We've got more new enemies here. <laughs> These are Slayer Bugs. With a Sand Lizardman 1 and a Sand Lizardman 2 in the front. Are these guys weak to, I don't know, swords? Let's, let's try swords first. That's usually what I always go for in the Nox Path fight. Alright, finally, we've got some sword weaknesses to go for. And that extra physical Coming. defense is going to help us immensely. <laughs> Lynn going for a sweep. Always nice. Bring it on. Now Alfin can use a level, level slash. slash. That'll break the lizard bugs. Looks like he missed one of them, unfortunately. Uh, no. And while Therion's blinded, I don't expect him to be making any hits for the time being. Alright, that takes care of one of the sand lizardmen. I wonder how much these Slayer Bugs collect for. We'll have to wait a while before we can find that out, though. Alright. Let's use... Let's try to use Spears on the Sand Lizardman 1, although he's more likely than not gonna miss. Oh, wow! He actually hit that! I'm quite surprised. Alright. Let's use a level slash here. Hopefully we don't accidentally kill anybody. Let's see. Who can we steal from? We can steal from the Lizardman 1 here. And in Spiriting Plum M! Alright! Those are wickedly expensive. Yeah, it looks like we don't have that physical defense anymore. I'll take 
An easy 1400 for us. Alright, and we can get rid of that sand lizard, man. Here goes nothing. There we go. Let's steal from the Sand Lizardman 2 here. And another Inspiriting Plum N. That's nice. Hopefully nobody dies in this process. Uh, looks like Han it's blind now. Let's get some hired help out here. Or, you know what? Why don't we just focus on collecting for now? 1440. Bring it on! Now we can break the sand lizard man too here. Get it out of our hair. Old brick can go heal Hanat. Because Hanat's unfortunately very fragile. Is there anything else we can do? No, nothing Hanat can do except defend. Can we steal from either of these bugs? These slayer bugs have essence of plum. Alright, that'll help out when. We need to use one of Alphon's concoctions. I'm ready. Are you? I'll take a 93% chance for the Slayer Bug. These collect for 1680? Wow, they collect for more than even the Sand Lizard Kings. But it looks like they have quite a bit of health. Let's see if we can't kill it. Wow, I think it's quite resilient. While we're here, there I can go collect from the other Slayer Bug. Another 1680 for us. Oberk has I yet to be attacked in this entire part. This man's HP Bring is still full, for the most part. Alright. And that should be the end of the fight. Let's use a cross strike to end it off early. There we go! With each battle, I grow stronger. And we get... 300, almost 400 XP from that. And we get another Inspiriting Plum M and a Essence of Plum as well. 1,000 leaves. And it looks like there's something big going on up ahead. I'll take a save for now, though, because we still need to go find those chests that we saw earlier. It's probably going to be a very long-winded walk, though. But we'll, we shall manage somehow. Alright, so I made it back to the safe station without too much trouble. Alright, now that we've fully explored the cave, there's nothing left for us to do except go trigger that cutscene and see how Ulbricht's Chapter 3 comes to an end. So that's Airheart, right? Aces, what in the name of the gods are you doing here? Let's deal with these first. We can talk later. Fair enough. Olberic. Of all the... How are these two so strong in cutscenes? Olberic is not able to one-shot a single sand lizardman. Much less three in one go. How long has it been, Earhart? Long. Too long. Uh. Yes, I feel like we are very much trying to ignore the elephant in the room. I need to... Well, I guess he doesn't need to for now, because it looks like we've got great concerns on our hands. Close. Didn't think they'd venture this far. Those are the leaders of the Horde. If we slay them, the rest will be easy to disperse. I'll take the right. Then the left is mine. Be careful. These beasts are more cunning than they look. When they fight together, they are stronger than the sum of their parts. Try not to get yourself killed. Likewise, Ulberic. Alright, looks like we got a mission objective before we can resume Ulbrich and Earhart's dialogue here. Criminy. Ulbrich, your lordship. That fellow looks like a tough customer. You sure you can handle him on your own? I am confident. I have trained alongside Earhart. I know my strengths and weaknesses. 
But you tell me, are you prepared for what is to come? Huh? Great peril and danger await us. We shall need your help more than ever. Ho oh, ho! You can count on me, don't you worry. I hope so. I already said, I'm gonna be the first one into battle. So come on, your lordship. Take a thumb at him, let's get moving. My thumb is here in plain sight. But yes, it is time to go. Looks like we've got a boss fight coming up here. Holy crap! This might be a bit of a hard fight. Lizard Man Chieftain. There! This must be one of the leaders. You stand to the fore as if to shield your minions. Even you have something to protect. Yet I... I have no one. Sir Berg. I'm going to keep training while you're away. Then, when you come back... I'll be even stronger. And then... Then maybe I could... Fare thee well. When you've done whatever it is you must do, pray come back and visit us. No matter how far your journey takes you, you'll always have a home here. Now then. Whatever happens, just give it everything you've got. We'll find out soon enough if that'll suffice. Ugh. Men, form lines on this position. Let not one of those slavering fiends pass. May the gods guide your blade. No. I do have something to protect. As a knight, I could not protect my king, my realm, or my countrymen. But now, as a wandering sword, I have found many who need my strength. Knight of the realm or common vagabond, I am still a blade, no more and no less. I can protect the weak, the innocent, the kind. I shall not fail them this time. I shall be victorious. All right, bring it on. Quite a lumbering beast he is. All right, looks like we've got a boss fight on our hands. The first thing I want to do is make sure we get that damage down. So we're going to open with a shackle foe and then hired help. Let's see, are you weak to spears or swords? Yes, you are weak to swords. All right, let's get some hired help out here. All right, just as suspected, we've summoned a bunch of your lizardman minions. All right, let's see. They sh those two in the front should be weak to spears. Level slash. Yep. Okay. Looks like they're not weak to swords, so I'm going to assume spears is the next best is the next best thing to use against them. All right. Let's use another shackle foe on the lizardman chief in the back there. We're just gonna have to keep that up until we can boost that thing. Let's use a thousand spears while we can. A thousand spears. Looks like the Lizardman Chieftain is blind now. Let's reactivate our hired so help here, give ourselves more defense while we still can. The Lizardman Chief is protected Victory by one of its own. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a given. I don't think the game needed to tell me that, but let's see if that results into any gameplay changes in the future. Nice dodge by Therion there. Alright, now we can finally boost that hired health. That should actually break the Lizardman Chief in the back there. But he's not our main target right now. We gotta get rid of those Sand Lizardmen in the front there. Alright, looks like they're both broken. Let's use a maxed out shackle foe on the Lizardman Chief there, and now we don't have to worry about damage for a while. 
While we're at it, we should use an Empoison to make sure we can get some passive damage in while we can. Alright, that's eight turns of Poison. Alright, what can we do now? I guess we could try out an Aerostorm. It's the closest thing we have to an AoE attack. Doesn't do half bad damage either, although I'm pretty sure we could do more if we had a stronger bow for Hanat. Can we- should we donate BP? Looks like we could use some of that. We can't steal- we can't steal from the chief, and we can't collect from it either. Alright, so let's just collect from the Lizard Kings in the front. 4,000 leaves! Alright! Let's see if we can't use a cross strike to take these guys out. Alright, that's one of them gone. Here we go! I don't know what we should use, because I don't want to deal too much damage to it, because otherwise we're missing out on a crap ton of money that we can steal. Ha! Ah, damn it. Oh, well. Armor Crush. Nice dodge by Ulbrich there, and the debuffs missed because the physical attack itself missed. So now we don't have to worry about Ulbrich's defense being lowered. All of these debuffs are working wonders for us. Second serving kicking in, always nice. Looks like the battle is quickly turning into our favor. Alright, let's use a thousand spears here. See if we can't get this guy even more blinded than he already is. Did we add more turns? Looks like we didn't. So he's not going to be blinded next turn. Oh. oh, you've got to be joking. Alphans unconscious. Do we have time to worry about that right now? I don't know. Let's use an armor corrosive. We have an extra turn before we actually need to break this guy, so I'm going to rehabilitate Alfin with Ulbrich. Right, I forgot, this guy doesn't know rehabilitate yet. I think we do have an Herb of Awakening, though. Awakening, no, that's for sleeping. Valor is for terror. Revival is for unconsciousness. Alright, there we go. Here While we, go. we can, let's abide with Alfin. I'll save my strength. And I'll wait until next turn before we use my arrow fly and true. a take aim here. Never miss Although I guess I'm going to have to use it anyway because Hana just had patience activated. I guess I could use it again. Never miss it. All right, we have to break him this turn. Alfin can do that, I'm pretty sure. Let's abide with Ulbrich. What can we do with Therion? What's that reduced defense debuff looking like? Reduced defense is active for two more turns. Alright. Armor Crush. Ugh. Alfin's got his physical defense lowered now. But that won't matter in a few seconds. Alright. Let's have Alfin use an amputation. 9,000 damage. Therion can follow up with an Ebers Reckoning. Another 9,000 damage! My arrow fly and, true. and let's have Hanit follow up with a, defend with a Drefendi's Rage. Alright, let's see just how strong Hanit really is. 6,000 damage, alright! And to top it all off, let's use a Brand's Thunder. 19,000 damage, nearly 20,000, and the poison comes along to finish it off. That was a fight for the ages. And we get the Lizard King's Axe. That's it for you. It is done. I should find Earhart. Phew. That was actually pretty intense. Albeit quite exhilarating. Alright, let's do some more healing here. Alright, Hanit looks. Yeah, Hanit will definitely need a better bow. I'm pretty sure we could have done more damage if we used one of Hanit's beasts instead, but no matter.
Let's see what the Lizard King's Axe actually does. It increases physical attack by 192 and elemental attack by 88. And it increases the lightning damage you deal by some unspecified percentage. Although these bear cleavers look like they could be more useful because they add critical attack and don't add as much physical attack to make it really worth it. But I guess Hanit can replace the rock cleaver with it. I guess that'll be somewhat worth it. All right. Let's go speak with Earhart now. We can't use any path you actions on him. Too, I'm not surprised. Aye. Without the leaders, the pack should soon descend into chaos and confusion. It will be easy enough to chase them off at our leisure. Good. Yes, we have to come back to the elephant in the room. It cannot be ignored. So, Ulrich, how did you find me? Gustav told me. It was quite a long winded path to get here. Ha! That's so. How was the scoundrel? Still in one piece? Quite a fierce battler, if I do say so myself. Quite the t We had quite the time with him in the he arena. Was well. Fighting for his keep. He told me about Grind, your hometown. Sounds like you had a grand old chat. Did he tell you about the soldiers who burned it to the ground? Tough world, this, for a young lad without a home. When the band of cell swords picked me up, I was grateful for it. And when the boss told me he wanted my help to bring down Hornberg, well, suffice to say he didn't need to ask twice. Why did this band of sellswords want to take down Hornberg? I mean, I can see Earhart's motivation for it. We were practically told it. Explicitly. But could there be other motives behind it? You wanted revenge. I, against the king who did not, as the only home I'd ever known was reduced to ash and rubble. As the flames licked the roof beams of their homes, my family, my friends, believed the king would save them. I swore then and there I would never forgive King Alfred. That he'd pay for what he'd done. Ha, <laughs> or not done, as it were. And so I came to Hornburg and became a knight. Served my commanders faithfully. Worked my way up in the ranks. But then, you know that story, don't you? All the while, biding your time to that final battle. Delivered my revenge at the point of my blade, even as the king looked into my eyes. His majesty was a courageous man. He was that. Till the last, he never stopped fighting for his people. If you acknowledge that, then, then what of your motivation for revenge? And I, with a single blow, I... I killed him in the name of vengeance, spilt his blood on the soil of his realm. I thought it would set me free. Free from the anguish, the pain, the despair. And it didn't, huh? No triumph, only a hollowness, a cold, empty void where my rage once burned. Revenge never really works out the way you think it will. As I searched for something to hold on to, the memories that came to me were not of my lost home, but of the years I'd spent as a knight, with my brothers in arms, with you. Did you regret it? Regret it? Aye, I certainly did. I regretted living a life for all those years in the name of vengeance. And yet, though they were a lie, 
A strange thing, isn't it? The memories of those days are as real as anything I have. Those days in Hornburg. The barracks, the proving grounds, the jousting lists. But anyhow, we disbanded after that and went our separate ways. We'd accomplished our aim, but were left homeless, masterless. So, what was the point of all of that, then? My wanderings brought me to Wellspring, a town like a hundred others I'd seen before. And yet you stayed, and now protect its people from harm. Aye. It looks like there's quite a past between Earhart and himself, really. He's come quite a long way since those days in Hornburg. I wonder how he thinks of those days he spent. But, I guess that's a story for another day. Do we challenge Earhart to a duel? Our first 10-star NPC? Well, looks like we have to. We have no choice. The answers will only come after a clash of blades. Draw your blade, Earhart. You don't have to do this, Ulberic. I can end it for you. All of it. Your anger, your pain, your regret. This lie your life has become. I'll cut you down and give you the peace you seek. Ulberic's trying to kill him? My king dead, and my countrymen. What did that make me who had sworn my very life to protect them? For what did I wield my sword? Gods, how many years did that question plague me? But at long last, I understood. I'd never lost my worth. Like you, I bear my sword so that I may protect others. Earhart, I cannot stand here and pretend to understand what caused you to do as you did. And though I search my heart, I find no room there for forgiveness. I find only... I should have bested you that day. Victory should have been mine. Then, and only then, could I have saved our liege. And you, from the monster you would become. It looks like Ulbrich's mind is quite erratic here. He's jumping from thought to thought really quickly. Hear me, Earhart. This time, I will not lose. Draw your weapon, Earhart. For warriors such as us, there is no other way. Uh, huh. Alright, Ulbrich. If you say so. I could tell you to learn from my mistakes. But then, what right have I? Nay, we'll do it your way. No holding back, eh, hey, old friend? I would not have it any other way. So be it. In victory, truth! Alright, let's do this. It's a Victory duel versus Earhart himself. He's a 10 star NPC. Looks like we're gonna have to use Stout Wall here to keep that damage low. Stand firm. Yeah, looks like that damage is a lot more manageable. Let's defend here so we can get a head start on boosting that Stout Wall so we don't have to worry about it for a while. Stand firm. There we go, that'll give us nine turns of increased physical defense for Ulbrich. Ugh. He can use Cross Strike, too. The battle is truly are you weak to swords? Yeah. Yes, you are. Victory shall be mine. This is probably how it's going to go. The battle is truly he will hit, and then it'll hit back. And it'll continue on like this. Let's take this turn to heal with Ulbrich. Alright. 
but just keep swinging our blade at him. No. We have no other choice, pretty much. Yeah. Victory shall be mine. Do we have time for an abide? I think we do. Ah. We'll have to break him next turn, though. Victory. <sighs> there we go. All right, now it's that time to use true. Brand's thunder. Twelve thousand damage, and he's still standing. Blazing stance improved. I don't know what that means, and I don't know what he's improving upon, but I'll take his word for it. And I guess we don't have to worry about what it is, because it looks like we've taken him out. All right, we get a divine blade. We're getting a lot of weapons today. I... I yield. Well, now it's up to Ulbrich. Is he going to take his chance and kill Earhart? I guess not. It is a strange thing. Though I fought with all my strength, it was as if you were protected by a greater power. Yes, that greater power being my excellent skills with using... Stout Wall. <laughs> And yet, for the first time in as long as I can remember, I regret nothing. I... So what next? Tell me one thing, Herhart. Who was he? The leader of your little band. The man who plotted Hornberg's fall. I really still want to know what his motive was for taking down that kingdom. Olberic, leave it be. Yeah, seriously. Who knows where he is right now, and it's probably best we just leave him alone. He brought down an entire kingdom. Our kingdom. Who knows what such a man is plotting now? Nay, such a fiend is too dangerous for this world. Ulbrich does have a point, though. If that man was capable of taking down an entire kingdom, left unchecked, he could be up to much more evil deeds than even that. I will stop him. I must. And looks like Ulbrich has quite the determination for that. This is the cause you found. Just so. I thought the cause he found was protecting others. The man's name is Verna. Where can I find him? After the fall of Hornberg, he set off for Riverford. Riverford, you say? After that, the gods only know what became of him. That's all I need to know. Men like that leave a trail. Whether they mean to or not. Yeah, with that kind of influence. They do. It's hard not to leave clues. Until someone stops them in their tracks. Is Ulbrich gonna be that someone? You're alive! And Lord Earhart? See for yourself. Took some doing, but we slew the leaders of the Horde. Once your men finish off the stragglers, you'll have nothing more to fear from that nest. Did you hear that, lads? Earhart slew their leaders! Couldn't have done it had Obrick not shown up in the nick of time. The two greatest knights of a lost realm fighting side by side? Hang me if it ain't like a storybook. It really is, isn't it? You have our undying gratitude, Sir Oberic. I do not warrant it. What I did was for myself. And now the time has come for me to seek out a new cause in another place. 
Oberic, I... You would remain here. I know. I'm sorry. Do not be. But before you go, let me say one more thing. If you mean to go up against Verna, watch your back. How so? I've never seen anyone swing a blade like he does. It's more than just strength and skill. There's something about him that strikes fear into men's hearts. And that actually manifests itself when we actually go fight this guy eventually. But you'll find out when we actually you get there. You are stronger now, Ulbrich. Stronger than me, I dare say. If your will is strong, you are doubtless the measure of him. But make no mistake, you would be well advised to fear him. It looks like he's quite intimidating. Coming from you, Earhart, that is warning indeed. I will heed your words. And now I must go. When this is over, mayhap we shall meet again. I look forward to that day, old friend. And so did Ulbrich leave Wellspring behind him. For too long, he had forgotten a simple truth. He wields his sword to protect the people. And that means he cannot let the mortal foe of Hornburg roam free. And so he set off for Riverford, where his long journey may at long last come to an end. And that would be the end of Ulbricks Chapter 3. We still have travel banter to hear, though. Now then. So you've had your chat with him. Satisfied now? Satisfied? I would not say that. But I have found... Acceptance. Earhart slew the king. But how I choose to live my life is up to me. Uh-huh. Does my heart soar? Have my troubles vanished? Nay. But I do see things more clearly now. I see what I need in order to wield my sword with a conscience clear. Hmm. Never really gave much thought to what I do. My steel to live. Simple as that. I get why you live the way you do. But that lifestyle is just not for me. Likewise, I could not do what you do. However, I understand the choices that you make. You know, I never thought I'd see the day I'd be talking to a guy like you. I suppose that's the beauty of going on a journey like this. I suppose that's the real end of Ulbricks Chapter 3. Quite a quaint little piece of travel banter if I do say so myself. Looks like we got some new NPCs here. I guess before I could end the part off, I should go talk to them. Let's see. Who are you? Guard. Well, Spring depends on us guards to keep them safe. Alright, if you say so. What's your story? A guard sworn to protect the peace who serves under Captain Bale. He respects the captain's ability to empathize with the less fortunate and those who have lost their way. That said, he's not sure how to feel about the captain's drinking habits. Whoa, that's rather scandalous. What do you have to steal? An unerring bracelet. And a sharp nut. Alright, I'll take those. I can't inquire you, but I can steal from you. What do you have to steal? A bunch of nuts. Tough nut, sharp nut, light nut. Alright. Well, I guess that'll be the end of Ulbricks Chapter 2. Well, sorry, that'll be the end of Ulbricht's Chapter 3. But, that's not the end of our time in Wellspring here, because the next time we meet, we'll be sticking around to some more to go start Therion's Chapter 3, and see how he's faring on that hunt for the Dragonstones. But, until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and take care.